Hello and welcome back to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, your senior trainer and support here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic will be the use of the Design Center as opposed to the copy-paste command. We have observed in the past, it seems in some cases, that using the copy-paste from clipboard could cause fi file errors and in some cases, fatal errors on your file. Let's see how Design Center works, shall we? You will see the Design Center icon in the View, Palettes, Design Center. What this does, it gives you a series of little tabs here, okay, that will allow you to look at a couple of things. First of all, you can actually go ahead and look into some folders here. As you can see, this actually basically leads you right into the sample files. Fortunately, though, you can actually come in here and continue to navigate anywhere you need to in order to go ahead into specific folders that contain the files that you are looking for in order to transfer information from that file to the current one. And that really is what Design Center does. So this would be your exploration item. In this section in here, if you have a file opened, then this is where it shows you where the open file is, are, or rather what con is contained in the open uh, files that you have here. In this case, we have Firestairs, which is actually hosted also as an external reference in Jim 9.11.23. Okay, so we have this ability to actually go into these particular databases of the actual uh, file here and we can look at several aspects of it into the external references for example we see that in the external references we have the fire stairs there in the visual styles we have all the visual styles that we can actually transfer back and forth if we've created new ones obviously then we can add them to the particular files you have your text styles your table styles your section view styles your multi-leader styles line types that you might have loaded or created specifically for this particular drawing the layouts you can pass them for back and forth also layers dimension styles and detail view styles now the important real important part for us here is this particular one now which is going to be the blocks okay why well if we look at the what the database Okay, and what it shows us about the blocks is there's only three blocks here. You have your architectural tick mark, you have your door tag, and you have a grid, grid tag. Okay, if we look at the fire stairs blocks also, we see that we have this very interesting door tag. Now, let's take a look and see about that door tag that is uh, actually in the actual fire stairs file. Let's go ahead and close this. We will come back and open it up again. And we're actually talking about this particular door here that we want to also place here. Okay. But if we look at the external reference, which in this case is what th this is, but we're actually going to be looking at the file itself as a file rather than an, a, a, than an external reference, we see that this particular door is actually part of that. So if we open up the fire stairs, which is right here, we notice that here's the stairs, and if we select the stairs, we notice that there's some interesting things about that. And specifically, this particular uh, door was created so it will fit any size door uh, opening. Uh, actually, if we actually look at this in the property section, you will see a couple of things here. Uh, rotation, annotation, here in the door openings. We have multiple sizes here, okay? So this is a very smart door, and we actually want it in this drawing, okay? So how do we pass it over without doing the copy-paste command from the clipboard? Well, it's very easy. If you go to your design center, okay, you see that this is here. All you really have to do is drag and drop it and release. This now becomes a permanent part of the particular drawing that you actually dropped it into okay and if we actually close this now because we've seen this for a second we're going to come back in a moment here okay and we see this now we take a look at it by going and selecting it right clicking and go into properties door openings right here okay and if we open that up 
we see that it has all of the sizes, as you can tell. They, this particular door is very smart. It knows all kinds of sizes that it can actually be used in for openings, okay? Now, there is one more thing that we uh, want to um, uh, bring forward and, and offer a possible workaround. This particular thing, for example, that we want to actually bring in the stairs. Or, or more than the stairs, we actually want to bring in, let's say, for example, this up version right here. Okay, how can we actually bring that up? Because if we actually look at the actual content of the fire stairs, that particular little set is not there. Okay, so how can we bring it? Well, it's a little bit uh, involved, but quite easy. Let's go ahead and close this for a second. Let's go back to the fire stairs. Okay, and what we'll do is we want to actually transfer this over. What we'll do is very simple. We'll convert this into a block in this way. We will go ahead into the insert, create block for the local. This is a local draw uh, block, obviously. And then what we'll do is we'll call this one um, stairs uh, uh, stairs up direction. Okay. We'll go ahead and select objects. It's going to be these two right here. Okay, obviously then they're now selected and we go hit the enter key. We know how this works. It's telling us how many objects are selected. Okay, it's uh, going to delete it. It's not annotated. We're not interested in that. We're actually interested in how to pass it over. And let's go ahead and give it an insertion point by picking right about that endpoint of that polyline that is there. And we'll call, uh, you can also write whatever description you want. We're just going to leave it blank for now. Okay, once this is all done, everything is defined for the block. We'll say, okay, block disappears. Let's go ahead and say, oops, to bring that back because we need it here, but we don't need it as a block. Okay, so what does that do to the transferring it over using the design center? Well, if we come back over here to the gym 19, or we can stay here in fire stairs. I just prefer to come over here to the 9, uh, 11, 23. Okay, and we go into our the sign center which i we have already said is in actually view palettes the sign center right here okay we go into the blocks and there's our up all we have to do is drop it in so ideally if you do not have the information uh, that you require from that particular drawing showing in here as some sort of uh, kind of data Preferably a block, obviously, because of the way we actually showed it. I found that that works the best. Okay. What you do is you go into the actual um, file. Okay. And in that file, you go ahead and let me close this for a second and create your block. Okay. If I go to insert, the block is actually right there. It, it, it is, in fact, a block. Okay. Up until the moment that I actually purge that block. And obviously, there cannot be any any uh, um, items that are truthful geometry in the drawing that are this block. I can then go ahead and purge it from here if that is what I wish. And so with this, we have, in this case, come to the conclusion of a real easy way to transfer information without using the actual copy-paste command that is actually a Windows command, okay? And so we are now using the Design Center that will allow us to do a kind of similar thing, except it's a little easier because it's more than anything, it's a drag and drop. Once again, this has been Jim Cuervo for Digital Drafting Systems. Thanking you for watching. Till the next time, be safe.